Here we are in board view. You'll see that we're viewing all projects. This is interesting because different projects can have different statuses, and statuses are really what board view is made out of. So if I had a task that didn't have an on hold status, how would I move it around? Well, you'll notice that when I move this, certain statuses disappear. And now I'm only able to move this task to the statuses that it applies to. I'll drop it here and the other statuses pop back in. Next, let's take a look at thumbnail images. I can go over here to the settings cog, open this up and preview attachments. Now we see all of these thumbnail images on the task cards. This is cool because you can open up the task you can scroll down and you can set whatever image is attached to the task as the thumbnail. This little pin lets you pin and unpin an image. At the top, we'll also see the thumbnail image expanded. When I close this, we'll see this is now the thumbnail image. All right, next, I'd like to take a look at sorting board view. Opening this up, allows you to choose from date created, due date, priority, and assignees. If I sort by priority, I will see tasks with urgent priority at the very top of the list. Next, let's take a look at bulk editing tasks in board view. This is cool. Only available in board view and list view and time view are you able to select tasks and make bulk changes. Some interesting bulk changes here are dependencies, archiving, changing the due date, changing your assignees, applying tasks, and changing statuses. Lastly, I'd like to go over collapsing columns. As you see, on hold doesn't have any tasks in this view. I don't want to see it, so I'm going to close it. Let's collapse this status. Now, I don't have to look at the wasted space made by the on hold column in this setup. That's it for now. If there's anything else you'd like to read about, check out the doc. We have filters, scrolling, dragging and drop, and the sidebar. Talk to you later.